Okay, I'm talking today about surf fishing. Uh, not necessarily truly surf fishing for the surf, but fishing from the shoreline. Uh, in Monterey, California, we fish off the shore, and we do do we do surf perch fish, and we do fish from the sandbanks. A lot of times, we end up fishing from the rocks. There's a lot of big cabazon, ling cod, rock cod, snappers, blues, bocasio. Um, there's a, just a whole number of fish you can catch from the rocky shores of California, and we're fishing uh, right there, about a mile away from Monterey Bay Aquarium, which is pretty close to the central coast. And what I've got in here is a whole bunch of different style of hooks. Most of them are either octopus hooks or circle hooks. The purpose of a circle hook, and why they call them circle, is because they spin around on themselves. And the hook circles back in. The point circles back in towards itself. And what that does is when a fish picks it up, you don't really even have to set the hook. Uh, once it picks the, the fish picks up the bait and starts taking off with it you just pick up the slack and reel and you pretty much got your fish caught so you can catch a huge amount of fish with these basic you know compared to a basic kale hook where you have to physically set the hook these set them for you so circle hooks is a way to go if you're going to be fishing off the shoreline so with the waves crashing and the wind and the weather sometimes you don't feel that pickup or you don't hear or get the visual cue of your pole jumping because with the waves, your pole's already jumping. So circle hooks is definitely the way to go fishing off the coastline. This example here of how the packages come. Whenever I find them on clearance, I pick them up. Usually about seven to eight bucks. I paid five dollars for this, and it's four aught is a package of 50 four aught laser sharp eagle claw circle C red hooks in here. And those are the ones I recommend because of their rust qualities. They're very strong, very sharp hooks. And you can get them in the 25, excuse me, the 50 packs, which is really nice to have the 50 packs. Going to line here, I use Andes, and you can see these clearance tags. If I can get something on clearance, I always pick it up. Uh, what I use is the green color here of Andes. It's a 30 pound. In California, the water's really dark green. So green is pretty much the most common stuff. I do have 50 pound Andes uh, for leaders on the boats. Maybe I have a 15 pound and as you can see it's hardly even used if used at all because I don't really use stuff that light unless I'm surf perch fishing and you can use probably up to six pound down as low as six pound test for surf perch fishing but but some of my rigs are a little heavier so I like to stick to eight to ten pounds I've even got some trialing big game uh, string right here that's pretty good I haven't used this yet this isn't a 25 pound test and these work so great once you find something you usually stick with it and I'm stuck on the Andes uh, in the green coloration so Andes 25 pound test green line four odd laser sharp eagle claw circle C red hooks and for weights we do a four ounce banana weight but you can do any size any shape weight it's just this slips really well throughout the rocks so we use uh, the four ounce weights that we cast ourselves so that's about it for fishing gear extra line pack of hooks with leaders and swivels and stuff and beads and a nice bag of weights because you're definitely going to break off on the rocks if you're fishing in the rocks in California.